So at first glance, technology seems like a good answer to the question, why is science important? But not everyone who contributed to the website was so convinced. I'd like to respond to those who say that the importance of science lies in technology. I think that point of view simplifies both disciplines. Both science and technology come packaged with a whole variety of moral, ethical and indeed practical decisions and principles. I think we in the West need to stand back and ask ourselves, do we need more MP3 players when in fact people in poorer countries don't have access to clean drinking water? Similarly, do our military need ever more fighter aircraft when in fact people in poor countries are unable to access the internet? I think it's important to stand back, to look at science and technology, and to see what benefits they bring to the world, and to question whether the answer to the question, why is science important, lies in technology. Technology can improve the quality of our lives, but it can also lead to weapons of mass destruction. Now arguably, science is morally neutral when it comes to technology, and it's up to us how we decide to use it. Whilst technology is an important outcome of science, I think we need to look deeper to find a more satisfying answer to the question, why is science important? So what else have people been saying on the website? Well, one answer that really leapt out at me was Robin Bells, who said that science is crucial to the long-term survival of our species. Now if that was true, I think we'd have a really good answer to the question. Drilling deep beneath the surface of Antarctica, scientists from the British Antarctic Survey are using ice cores to understand how our climate is changing. Bubbles of air trapped hundreds of metres down give them clues to what our atmosphere was like up to 800,000 years ago. I went to meet ice core drilling engineer Jack Triest to find out exactly what this kind of research has taught us. There's two key things that we've learned. First of all, the Earth's um, climate has been changing for the last 800,000 years and um, sometimes it's changed very rapidly. Secondly, we know that uh, human industrial activity has really contributed to, for example, greenhouse uh, gases. The level of greenhouse gases that we see currently has never seen before in the last 800,000 years. If the climate were to change very rapidly, we need to be ready to act. So that's why we really want to know what uh, contributes to climate change and how quickly it can happen.